Thanks, Audrey. Well, yesterday, in addition to it being my birthday, <laughs> it was National Ice Cream Day and Ice Cream Month actually rolls on. And how lucky are we? Just in time, Yankee Magazine has their latest issue out. There it is. Oh, my goodness. I could stare at the cover for hours. It <laughs> highlights their 36 best ice cream shops across New England, which is so cool. And joining us right here this morning to tell us all about it is editor Amy Traverse. So good morning. Good morning. Welcome back. Thank you. First it's so of good all, to be here. what a, a tough gig having to find <laughs> the best ice cream spots across uh, uh, New England, really. I mean, and it was it was really a full year. I mean, we were skiing at Sunapee, like <laughs> in the in the spring, and I was like, there's an ice cream place near here. I've got to go check it out. So much fun. So tell us really how you arrived at the idea. Obviously, we all know National Ice Cream Month, and Right. I like to say that my blood type is chocolate chip cookie dough <laughs> because I eat so much of it, but I love ice cream. So talk to us about how the idea came about. Yeah, we, you know, all we want to do, especially with our summer issues at Yankee, is to just get you out, get you like, help you discover new things you may not know right around you or get you out there to explore regions you don't, you know, little areas you haven't been before in New England and what better motivator than ice cream. Totally, and we laugh and we have fun because it's great to have fun and that's what it's all about. But I'm really intrigued and interested in how the process kind of works. Does yeah. the whole team get together? This is my favorite, that one is my favorite. Is it collaborative? How does it come together? So I, uh, I was, kind of spearheading the project as food editor. And then I also consulted with some, and I was doing a lot of driving and traveling and tasting, but I also consulted with some local experts to run it by them, like these are my, and actually like Elise Press Major is somebody mm -hmm. I want to thank because she helped me out with Rhode Island to make sure I wasn't missing anything. And then, you know, we, we had sort of certain criteria and we went out and we tasted and then we narrowed the list and it was really like getting out there and trying them all. And that's what it's all about, having some fun kind of guiding people because you're yeah. periodical. I've said this to you so many times, I find Yankee Magazine to be such a cl uh, classy periodical. Oh, I think you. it's just so well done and there's an, an air of class about it because it's always just right to the point and it's also just there's something about it that's very 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 refined and also informative so you've kind of captured that Yankee Magazine spirit but kind oh. of applied it to ice cream I would presume. Yeah we, we really wanted to have high bars of quality because ice cream really varies I mean the the base that that the maker uses is so important. A lot of ice cream makers put a lot of air into the product it, 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 and you get that unsatisfying, it's like a sugary, we wanted ice cream that's ultra creamy and a really, really high quality. Outstanding and also included in the coverage as it says here, old school favorites. What's that element all about? So those are the flavors that anyone who grew up in New England might have a special affection for, like um, grape nut, like rum raisin, things that are maple walnut, maple, you know, things, yeah. yeah, maple walnut. Coffee ice cream, one of our winners is Gray's uh, in Tiverton and Bristol, and their coffee ice cream is so good. I think that's the mark of a great ice cream spot when they can take a traditional favorite like yes. coffee. Well, I've had this a thousand times. What are they, how yes. are they going to wow my taste buds? And they yes. do. Yes. And um, if you're in Boston, um, there's a Forge ice cream parlor that does also an amazing, they do a cold brew coffee ice cream that is. Mwah. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And let's talk, I mean, obviously ice cream, the star of the show, the star right. of the segment of the issue right here this morning. But what else can we find in the summer issue here? Oh, gosh, we are we are traveling all over New England. There's um, on the food side, I have great recipes for what to do with all that zucchini that's growing in your garden. <laughs> I know I have a bumper crop. And uh, as well as uh, we write about this amazing farm up in Vermont, northern Vermont. Um, two guys who were living in Philadelphia moved up there, opened this be amazing, beautiful flower farm, and they host these brunches because uh, one of them's a chef, one of them is a is a botanist. And so, like, imagine being in beautiful rolling hills of Vermont with this incredible food and then flowers everywhere. It's just so special. And the magazine really act, can act as a guide for people. You know, you pick it up or you look online at your website. There are so I, I was poking around your website earlier. You have so many options, so many things to look at, so many great suggestions for folks. We, we, we really want it to be the ultimate guide to New England and um, and so you know particularly with the summer issues we are really focused on the fact that people are going to be traveling and they want to know where to go and what to do. Any directions to you know maps of the stars houses? <laughs> 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 Just try getting past the gate. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all kidding aside, you do a great job with this, and really, uh, you should be commended on the efforts because all kidding aside, like you said, it takes a lot to put this thing together. It does, so it does, and it's done with. A, it really is done with a lot of love. I mean, it. Um, everybody who works here, I, I don't want to sound too gushy, but it's. 
we love New England and we just we want to celebrate it. And you do a great job celebrating it, Amy, and it's always a pleasure to welcome you back to the Roadshow. So best to you and your team and come oh, see us again you. soon. I would love that. Thank All you right. and happy birthday. Thank you very much. I wear a large if you'd like to get me a late <laughs> gift. <laughs> Be sure to pick up your copy of the summer edition of Yankee Magazine and don't forget to vote for your favorite local ice cream spots, you guys. The Roadshow Top Scoops is happening right now. We will show you. Hey, there it is. That's what the voting page looks like on Roadshow.com. So just head on over. Voting is open through August 19th. And if you can't pick just one of your favorites, that is A-OK. -okay. A-OK, -okay. what is it, 1986? Just pick <laughs> one per county. You can do so, including Bristol County, Mass. Very cool.